And then last but not least, we have uh, frontier communication right of way work. Just wanted to provide an update on that. Uh, as many residents have been affected by the ongoing frontier communications work in town, it was requested that we provide an update on the restoration associated with this work. Uh, frontier had gone out and restored a majority of the work associated with this fiber build in May. Unfortunately, we've had an extremely dry June that has not been conducive to grass germination. Uh, Frontier will be assessing these disturbances once the weather begins cooperating and, and intends to re-restore. Um, administ Administrator Boblik and myself spoke with Frontier earlier today um, and explained the city's stance on this and what we expect moving forward. Um, and we are all in agreement of what needs to be done. Um, to add to this, the city still hold, holds the right-of-way permit bonds for this work, and we will not release these until work has been sufficiently restored. So, I agree with some of what you said, but not everything. Okay. The, they restored the, the boulevards, but when they want to say, when they want to blame everything on the rain, I would invite anybody to go over and look at my boulevard and I have a sprinkler system. That last month, my water bill was $581 to give you an idea of how much water I've put on my lawn. And it is disgusting what they got. I got no grass, all I've got is weeds. It's, it's the product that they've used. They have abandoned our city, I would say, for at least the last six weeks. And it don't matter what boulevard you drive by, they look terrible. Uh, I got, we all got, before they ever started in this community, we got a thing hung in our door that told us, explained to us what they were going to do, and told us that when they were, when it was done, that they would put our lawns back in the same or better shape than what they found it. Now, they haven't worked in my lawn for a month and a half, two months. They put black dirt down and they've spread some seed out. To me, that looks like they think they're done. And there's no way that they can tell. And I can take any pictures I want. I've sent pictures to Phil. <laughs> and, and I'm talking about my lawn. But I can go to just about every place that they put their back down and it's the same thing. And, and, you know, I tell them that it ain't our responsibility to water and they completely deny that. It, they tell me that it is our responsibility to water. And I can tell you that on the corner of red pine and slifer, there's a two acre parcel in there that they tore up about four different spots. There ain't even any water on that lot. How do they expect people to water it? We plant trees in boulevards in the city. I've seen it today. We take a city truck down and we water our trees that we planted in people's boulevards. They've made no effort for that whatsoever. And I talked to the gentleman yesterday, I believe it was, uh, and all I get is a whole bunch of, you know, he's not doing this and he's not doing that and he's not doing this. And I just keep reminding him, all I'm asking for is what you told me you were going to do before you ever started. And I believe the city should take a stance on this. The city of Portage should protect the property owners and take a stance with them and give them a date of when this is going to be acceptable. It's going to be done and accepted. Not because they're going to come back and... August they're going to, you know, and then we're going to deal with this all winter long and we're going to deal with it next spring. That's bull crap. They're done. Uh, there's no reason that they, that they ain't putting them boulevards back. I don't care. Maybe it's going to take that they're going to have to get sod and put sod down. That's what they dug up in my yard. And that's what they dug up in most of the boulevards was sod. And that's what they need to put down as far as I'm concerned. And the city should take a stance on it. Maybe we need to get write a letter from our city attorney. Um, to let them know that. And, you know, personally, I believe that if they don't take care of it, the city should hire a contractor uh, to go through and take care of the problem and then file a claim against their bonding company. Uh, I, I'm that serious about it. This this is ridiculous. We're in the first, first part of July 
and it looks terrible. <laughs> yeah, and <clears throat> Dennis, uh, respectfully, I just kind of wanted to touch on a few of the points that, that you've made. Um, the, the first being the abandonment of um, the city over the last six weeks. Um, quite honestly, I've, I've had a very good working relationship. I, I, I can't, I just want to set that record straight. Um, anytime we've had any sort of safety issue uh, that's been brought to city staff's attention, we've notified the contractor who performed the work if there's any settlement. Um, I know a couple aldermen in here can attest to that, that they have gone out, they've filled holes. Um, they have continued to do that over the last six weeks. Because um, yes, they are not currently working in the city of Portage. However, they do travel to and from the city of Portage each day. Their contract for their regional work here, uh, hotel-wise, is actually with the Best Western in town. Um, so they have not necessarily abandoned the city. They're just not currently doing any scheduled work. But anytime we have an issue, they have been more than willing to address those safety concerns. I don't know that I agree with that, Phil. Okay. I've called them four different times about the issue in my yard, and they haven't shown up. Restor but, restoration uh, It is wise. unsettling, but I've just got nothing but a weed patch. I sent you a picture of it. So I don't know that I agree with that. We can get more people to complain to them if that's what we want to do. Because I'm going to tell you, all you got to do is post that in social media, and there's going to be a lot of people complaining to them and whatnot, if that's, if that's the avenue to go. But I, I disagree that they're taking care of the problems as they arise, or they would take, or they would be there. 